even and all okay what you just saw was a really exciting thing you can do in excel so for an awfully long time i have been basically selling like this you go and select some items you would then go and look at the market oh what's the current market price okay five what would you say five nine nine four hundred okay so you would basically do that that soul crushing process across all these flipping modules well no longer because my good sir we now have the <laughs> the excel spreadsheet whatever we want to call it you have seen this this is an oh well, you haven't seen it like this so let me walk you through it. This is the restock calculator that you've already seen. OK, we have added some business intelligent metrics to it. So we know the total cost of restock, the volume, very handy. So you do you need two transport ships? Could you do this in a blockade runner? What are the type of things that I am purchasing? Minerals, Moon Goop, Planet Tech, Data Cores, Decryptors. OK, um, everything here is automated. So um, when I do a, a Tech 2 run, I can just basically then run this and then update it. Now there is a bit of an issue with this sheet that it is unfortunately now limited to an update per hour. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but it feels like it is. So every hour I think it updates now, um, but that's okay because we're not really doing anything that causes that much. We don't need to be constantly refreshing it. Although hold that thought because when we get to market analysis, you're going to want this sheet, I tell you now. But this, let's just walk through. So you've seen this. This is what we showed last time. Now, we also now have an updated market orders tab. And as you can see, we've got quite a few buy orders in at the moment because we're doing a fair bit of uh, market trading. Um, and what you can see here is effectively the things we're buying, whether or not it is a buy order or whether or not it is a sell order. So you can see here our, our Ritaru's, whatever they call them, Ritaru. Um, we're currently trying to buy two of those. Um, it's not going very well because <laughs> people buy the lot of them. Um, and we can see that we have 78 market orders to sell things and we have 34 to buy. And this then is just a very simple metric. I'm going to break this down into the categories, I think, at some point, because I've got a few buy orders for things like ships somewhere here. If I scroll down, so, you know, Dominic's, for example, Dominic's, Dominez, Dominez. Anyway, so you can see how that's that's working. Um, this works quite well because then obviously once we sell things at updates. Today's topic is about this sheet. So we now have a selling tool, what's it thingamajig, what's it doodah, which let me explain it to you. So as you come to sell things, so again, this is where life gets rather easy. You now can, as you saw in the little intro video, you can just sell everything. Okay, so you just create a sell order for everything are you watching because this is important you basically then have this little button here gosh it takes forever doesn't it like 65 70 71 75 you then have the ability here to import prices from a clipboard okay and that's what we're doing here so let me walk you through this you effectively have the item being pulled from the character assets you then have the market card and this is just the standard market card that you pull based upon whatever this item is okay you then have the sales statistics being pulled and this is where this yellow box is a really critical box because this is the forge region okay so this is pulling the forge region statistics market statistics and it's pulling it just for g to 44 that's important remember that it's then telling me what the current best minimum sale price is so the lowest okay so if we do i mean again i i won't i won't waste time but if you go to the the game you will then be able to see that you know 250 millimeter light artillery cannons at this particular point in time are selling for that and we have seven of them now this is the clever bit we then want to have some logic run to say well we're just going to place a buy order that's below this now remember in eve depending on the scale of the buy order is then how much the inter, inter iteratory steps between them is so what do i mean well this one is a hundred so if i wanted to up this or or let's say reduce this to be just below i can only reduce it by a hundred i can't reduce it by one or five or twenty isk it has to be in steps of a hundred if the unit is over a million isk it's in then units of a thousand and if it's ammo small stuff then it's units of one isk and in fact i think it's 0 0.01 
for very low value things under a hundred. I don't I don't really deal in those. So I'm just dealing with hundreds and thousands. Okay. So what this then effectively does is it takes what the current best price is for this particular module and it then just drops a hundred isk off it and then proposes a new sales price of 925000. Make sense? You with me? Your quiche nice and warm? Good. Because then what you can do is run a little kind of um, script, I want to say. I don't know what you call this, but you run basically a little if statement to pull what we're selling, the amount we want to sell it for, and how many we have. So again, 250 millimeter light artillery cannon twos, two, not 2925 two, 100, it's 925000. And then the quantity. Oh, I don't know where the quantity's gone. <laughs> Do we need the quantity? Oh no, we don't, I lie. So we don't need the quantity for this because we're just gonna refresh the sell order that we set. So even if you have assets pulled through here that you don't want to sell, like the station warehouse containers, because I'm obviously using them, you can still copy it, but in the game, because we are not selling it, we haven't highlighted it and added it to this window, when we update it with this price, it will move beyond it, it won't sell it. Now, you're prob the, cl the cleverer among you, which is all of you, you will probably have already have seen as a problem here. What if somebody accidentally puts these on for 700,000 disc as a buy order to sell? Sorry, a sell yes, a no, a sell order to buy. So actually you have a situation where if I just maybe try and let me just cancel that. If I find one, maybe somebody has gone and done something really stupid and put something on really low. So where you have the lowest buy or the lowest sell order is actually the highest buy order, but they've accidentally sold one. Well, so currently there is no logic to do that, but it literally occurred to me as I had my 27 lattes this morning that there is a way to do this because you can pull in the average price. OK, so what we can do is have an additional step in this that says as a check, if this price is only 10%. Uh, close to the highest buy order because again we can get that so we've got sell order statistics here okay so you've got min medium and max right we can do the same for buy orders so we can actually pull through i can't remember there it is so if i just pull that see it's there now so we can then say if there is an occasion where this number is basically too close to the maximum buy order then don't include it in this calculation. Frighteningly clever, I think you'll agree. And that's it. So this effectively has become <laughs> the super quick way. I mean, again, the soul crushing problem of selling things in this game. It used to drive me mad. I used to go and, you know, dr dread putting things on the market now. And it's just, this has made things nice and easy because basically you can set your buy orders, you can set your sell orders. You know, every so often I come in and find, look, there's another thing to sell here, just stack that. And then you just, you go and run, you refresh this sheet and it will give you the sell order. You know, let's say macro. I don't want to say macro because that's a not wrong word. It'll give you the clipboard position to paste in. I really hope this isn't like automation that's against the game's rules, but they it can't be because they've literally added it here. It's a feature, it's a function. And I would recommend you use it because I think this has been incredibly useful. So there we go. That is kind of the restock, the market orders and selling. Do you want to see something else? Let me show you this. This is game breaking. This is like ridiculously good, okay? I haven't finished, I haven't beautified it yet, but when you kind of see what we can do with this, it's gonna blow your mind a little bit. Let's just shrink all of these. Let's just make it a bit easier to see. So this is a direct pull of every single module in the game, okay? And what I've done here is basically pull all the modules, all the ships, well, maybe not all, but it's a pretty good start for 10. Um, and what I've done here is very simple. You can do this, is basically say, pull the item, okay? Give me what the minimum sell order price, again, I've just done Jita because Jita is the market, let's be honest and then give me the maximum buy order, calculate the delta between them. So if you're not familiar with that term delta, it's a finance bro douche word, which just means what is the difference, the gap between the maximum sell price and the, ma uh, sorry, the minimum sell price and the maximum buy price. So think of it as your profit, if you like. 
then attribute a percentage to this, which is just a very straightforward, you know, one over the other, and then rank that percentage. So if we just do largest to smallest, again, it might have an issue updating this because it does take a while. So let's just, you'll see, look how slowly it does, but this is just polling live all of the data in the GTA market at the moment. It then gives you interesting things like that. So currently, rem small remote hull repairer twos. Okay, we need to add a quantity to this because I don't think many of them sell in a day. But look at the spread. Ooh, that's interesting you, isn't it? Look at the medium EMP smart bombs. By the way, almost all of these, uh, these sell orders and buy orders are me because I've been doing this for days now. <laughs> but I share the data with you all, my brothers, because this is effectively, I think, game breaking. If we all have the same data, large hull repair at 12 million, currently I'm buying them for 603,000 and my profit is astronomical. Now I haven't sold many of them, but I have sold things like the smart bombs. I've, I've sold an awful lot of the skirmish command bursts because look at the spread there. The explosive coating twos, again, buying them for basically nothing because people just seem to sell them in ones and twos to me. Um, capital stuff is ridiculous. So look at the spread there. The 12, it's not capital, it's 1200 millimeter artillery cannon twos. Look at the spread. It's crazy. Capital tractor beam. Goodness me, lots and lots of money. Capital remote hull repair of twos. I don't think many sell, but just one makes you 128 million Iski Roonies. So you can see if I just scroll down some stuff like obviously Bantam, really, are people buying that? Who knows? Um, but, you know, there's some interesting information and i imagine some of you are pausing the screen right now good on you this is live so every day this changes i have made a killing on heavy warp disruptor twos for some reason because in jita they were i mean again this i don't know if this is live live this is live when i'm doing it obviously but i don't know if the data is still live from this reef because i haven't done a full refresh on this data but you can see like a few days ago when i did my update shield recharger twos not bad you know, you can start to see some serious numbers. And let's go to the highest one. So if we go with the highest profit margin, the Immolator, obviously I think that's a particularly special ship, but you can see there's some crazy things there. But Asbels, look at that. So you can make 218 million Iskarunis if you're willing to put 3.8 billion aside. So I just, you know, this was interesting. And this is gonna be the topic of the next video because quite honestly, you could just have this sheet uh, you know, when you come into do your, your Jita trading, you could just run this and basically get all of your data from it. And I'm jumping away. Yes, I know you want more. Of course you do. The sheet is currently still being worked on. There are issues and errors. So, for example, this restock, if I just show you, if I do a control alt F9, it doesn't update. So you have to let it run this update. Um, but the update seems to be, like I say, limited to one an hour now. OK, so you see it's not. I think I might even have hit my limit in terms of refreshes. Yes, you see that I've got, a, there is a limit they apply to this sheet. So there are some downsides to it, but it's only because I'm working on it that I'm using th this update an awful lot. Once it's finished, I will never hit this cap because I just won't need to update every like, you know, 20 minutes to check something's working. So this is definitely the, the, the negative. So this is why I've not released it yet. But the good news is we're going to finish this market analysis tab and we've got a few more that we're going to add to this because I want to actually update some of this, uh, the raw data sheet. And there's another thing we're going to do to it, which is currently this is set to the assumption that you are a corporation owner, a director of the corporation or rather um, that has access to everything. OK, or rather you can see everything, which I think director roles give you. Um, now, what we want to do is make it so that you have a corporation ability to do this but also just a character because currently this is set if i go here for example nope here you see it's set to eve online corporation all you do will copy the sheet is change that to eve online character assets that's it and then the whole thing refreshes just based upon this one character's um uh, assets okay because that then means if you're just one or two accounts you can just set this up to do to do just that there we go. If you have any questions, join the Discord, um, message me, just, you know, get in touch. Um, we are going to make it available, but only when it works, because I don't, I'm not tech support, bro. I don't know how to do tech support. So I think it will be a case of when it's working pretty much foolproof 
way we will release it and i bet you can't wait for this market tool to come because in just about the three or four days i've been running this easily made about two to three billion in trades easily okay and that's not even trying that's literally just saying oh look like you know 800 millimeter steel plates so there's quite a nice spread between them place a buy order for say 100 oh look i've sold it i've bought a load let's sell them again so highly highly love this part of the game there we go hope you enjoyed that we'll see you next time